Good evening, Oakland Golden Grizzlies fans. You're listening to 88.3 FM WXOU. This is the Golden Grizzlies po- pre-game show. Pre- pre-game show. Hosted by the sports director of WXOU, yours truly, Arjun Butar. Thank you for joining us tonight, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be a good one. Your Oakland volleyball team is taking on Youngstown State tonight at 6 p.m. First tip will be at 6 p.m. On your broadcasting crew today is Giovanni Mosheri on play-by-play and making his WXOU debut, Jacob Board on color. I will be here in the studio for the halftime and post-game shows. Stay tuned for live coverage of Oakland taking on Youngstown State. You're listening to 88.3 FM WXOU. Point three FM WXOU. Giovanni Mosheri alongside the one and only Jacob Board as we get ready to give you guys and tell you guys the story of today's matchup of Oakland University Volleyball versus the Youngstown State Penguins. And today, this game is the home Horizon League opener in the arena for tonight. So, Jacob, what are we going to be looking forward to in this game? Well, Giovanni, this is going to be a very interesting matchup as our Lady Grizzlies are 7-6 and six, and the Youngstown State Penguins are five and seven so the grizzlies are going to have a good shot today and a good and a good matchup but do not do not lose sight of what is important of course and the youngstown state penguins not a team to be slept on and we've just started the horizon league season right now and so far oakland is one of the top teams in the league technically i want to know we only play we only play one game in horizon league Youngstown State, they lost their only Horizon League game. So this could be a chance. It's very early in the season. But in a game like this, at the very start of the season, we could quickly get a snowball effect going because not only are you at home today, but you're going to be at home tomorrow against Robert Morris at 4 o'clock, which you can also hear on WXOU right here, 88.3 FM. So if you can come out of here 2-0 and in a home stand, then you're starting 3-0 in the Horizon League. That could be a great start to the season, start to get yourself some separation in the Horizon League. So this could be the start of something big here for the Golden Grizzlies. But in order for that to happen, they must win today's game. They must win today's game. That is right. And as we're getting ready for the starting lines to be announced here, Youngstown State sporting quite a bit of a, of a seasoned lineup here. With, met with many juniors, seniors, fifth years as well, additions right. to the Youngstown State Penguins team. And to kind of give some context for the beginning of the Horizon League season, so the Horizon League, they release a preseason poll every year for every sport before the season starts. And looking at it, we got Wright State at the top of the league. And you take a few steps down and you find Oakland University ranked at number six to start the league. But if you keep going down, that's where you're going to find Youngstown State at set at number eight. So if you haven't watched any any volleyball, any Horizon League volleyball, then you would see Oakland not only as a home team, not only is the one, or, or the one that is also ranked higher in the preseason polls. And these polls, obviously, a lot changes throughout the season. So it, it's, you can't quite set it. It's not set in stone, obviously. There's a lot to prove. But you can kind of see this as an advantage for Oakland. But they're definitely going to have to work for it. In addition to that, we're going to be celebrating some milestones being celebra- some, celebrate some milestones for Oakland University. Both Emily Wickman and Sarah Turner have surpassed the 1,000 digs mark in their collegiate careers, and they're going to be celebrated after the game today. Not only that, but our very own Patty Cicerini, the out- one of our outside hitters, is going to be celebrating her 1,000 kills for her collegiate for her collegiate career. So definitely been putting in a lot of work, not only for the Golden Grizzlies, but and, and everywhere they go, they're going to be performing and they're going to be honored tonight for that. Now, Jacob, tell us a little bit about the crowd here tonight as we've, you know, as we've seen on social media, Grizz Gang's going to have a little bit of pizza coming into the arena tonight. So tell, oh, yeah. what, do we, what do we see from the crowd here? It looks like a pretty packed house. Well, you know, Giovanni, it is a very good crowd tonight. You know, a lot of youth kids... The student section is looking very interesting. And, you know, as you can hear, the crowd is very excited for tonight. Yeah, And actually, correct correct me, because that old, because I was saying that they were going to celebrate these milestones after the game. They're celebrating them right now. It's Patty Cicerini setting the all-time Oakland University record four kills, being honored with a golden volleyball engraved with her name and, and the accomplishment. 
So it, it's they're going to be honored right before the game, try to get the juices flowing, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sure there's a little bit of conversation on whether to do it before or after the game. And Coach Crystal Rice is more than happy to give them out before the game starting, right in front of their opponents as well. you got to think it's a bit of a power move, too. Right, yeah. Yeah, Grizz surely, sure is getting into it as well at the top of the student section, welcoming everybody into the arena as they trickle in. And if you're listening now and you're here on campus, thank you for listening to WXOU. But we, your, your support would be much better used here in the arena. So if you can get down to the arena, get there. Otherwise, we're here to have we're here and happy to give you the story and call the game for you guys on WXOU. So we got three golden volleyballs being celebrated right now. Of course, a photo op being taken right now for Sarah Turner, for Emily Glickman, and Patty Cesarini. And we're getting ready to roll now. Team's taking their laps, going to take their positions. Going to high fives before the game underneath the net here. As each team starting with a clean slate. 0-0, zero, zero, set one. And we're ready to roll here in the arena, Jacob. Oh, yeah, Joe. It's showtime. And everybody's been waiting for this moment. We got parents, families. We got representation from other Oakland sports as well. We have, I've seen Oakland softball. I've seen women's basketball. Swim and Dive is making an appearance today, and they usually have a bit of a tradition for these home openers. We're going to save that for when it actually happens. So stay tuned for a little bit of the surprise that the swim team is going to be having for us. If you've been to the arena before in games like this, then you know uh, the swim team, they show up and show out when they come here to support their fellow student athletes. Place is jumping here in the arena. And it's loud, Joe. It is very loud. It's loud. It's a tough place to play here in the arena. It's a home field advantage. It's a home court advantage that's not seen anywhere in the Horizon League like this. This is one of the smaller arenas in the Horizon League, but because of that, you get the crowd in here, you pack it enough. Man, it's echoing. It's close. It's in your face. And it's a unique atmosphere for sure. Right. And we're getting started here. Set one, Abby Householder for Youngstown State is going to be delivering the first serve of the game. Starting here, 0-0. Welcome to WXOU for Oakland University Volleyball. First serve is going to go close to the outside here, but Oakland University able to return it back to the proper place. A soft touch there getting over, the, getting over Oakland here. And that's going to be a kill for Oakland University. Patty Cesarini... Or forgive me, Libby Gentile getting the first kill of the of the game, of the set, of the match, etc. We always see that soft touch. As soon as players are going or trying to go up and they're expecting a big smack, you get that soft touch just to go right over them, and you see it going in slow motion. As we're now here in action, a crossing attack from the far side. Oakland University playing on the left. Youngstown State's or Oakland University on the right, Youngstown State on the left, Oakland sporting their white, Youngstown State in red, and we got another kill, this time from Youngstown State. And we're now tied at 1-1, inside one, here in the arena. Now we're going to see the serve from Isadora Sisik. And Youngstown State has a bit of a tradition, it seems, before serves. They have a clapping pattern. And that's going to be... An attack and a point for the Golden Grizzlies. Annika Brisby getting one right in the middle there with a big smack. It, it was, the Youngstown State made contact with it, but it fell right in front of them on their side of the net. Very close margin, but it's enough to give Oakland University a 2-1 lead in set one. We're not going to see Rachel Rossman serving for the Golden Grizzlies. Here's a serve. A shallow one up to the front on the far side. Youngstown State recovering. Another soft touch there. Rachel Rossman able, able to recover that one. Patty Cesarini from center gets on the line, and that's going to be a dead shot point for Oakland University. Patty Cesarini just piling on the kills here. She's already passed 1,000, so what's another 1,000? Am I right, Jacob? Yep. Rossman here for another serve. 3-1 Oakland lead in set one. That Ooh. one's going to be just short. Going to turn it around back to the Penguins. And that was a mistake here, Joe. That's the first thing you don't want to do in this game. You do not want to make mistakes for your opponents to capitalize on. Yeah, Self-inflicted wounds for this side. A lot, lot of game left to go here, but it's going to give it now to Isabel Schaffbauer for Youngstown State with the serve. 3-2 Oakland lead. Serve is up. And a quick 
A quick drop down for Youngstown State, able to tie it now 3-3. Lisey Bates was able to get a bump underneath it, but it went just over the net, not able for Oakland to get an advantage on it, and it was just a quick flick of the wrist down right in front of him. So now it's 3-3. Tie game here. Here comes Youngstown State with the serve. Goes over a shallow serve. Oakland rallying around it. And it's going to be a point for Youngstown State, now 4-3. Uh, perhaps it was an illegal hit, an illegal set for Oakland. I wasn't quite sure what the call was for that, but as soon as contact was made by Rachel Rossman, I, I, I believe, it's going to give Youngstown State the lead here. Shaft Bauer with the serve. Comes across. Bates able to recover it. And a big kill coming across. It's going to be just out of bounds. It's going to be another point for Youngstown State. It's always tough to see when you see these quick attacks and they come to the ground, especially right in front of us on the close side. we got the media desk right in front of us. Hard to see where the line is, but that one was called outside. It's going to be another point for Youngstown State. Now it's a 5-3 lead for the Penguins. And, Oak and Oakland cannot let Youngstown State get ahead of them. They cannot let them pull away. And a close recovery from Youngstown State after an attack from Oakland. Is going to keep the volley going, and some tight ones here. As now things have settled back down on the far side. An attack is going to be recovered by Youngstown State. we got a long volley coming here. Emily Wickman with the dig to keep it alive. Youngstown State now in possession. Here's the attack. Oakland gets hands on it to be able to recover it themselves. This volley is going forever. We're still here. A soft touch. Not going to be able to get back on it, Brisby. Keeps going on Youngstown State's side. Libby... Lisey Bates able to save it. Cesarini with the attack, and it's going to come off of the hands of Youngstown State, finally ending the volley, and now out of bounds at the Oakland point. And the Grizzlies are right back in it, Joe. We're right back in it. And that's the kind of stamina. This is what the game, this is what the match is going to be like if every, every volley is going to go back six, seven times. Man, we're going to be here for a while on 88.3 FM. And I tell you what, the crowd is very in tune, and they are loving it right now, Joe. I can feel it. Youngstown State, 5-4 lead. Oakland serve. With the Penguins now, big attack is going to go outwards. And, ooh, it's actually going to stay in bounds there. Youngstown State with the point now, 6-4. to four. Penguins lead. That one looked like it must have got some contact on one of Oakland's hands. Because that one was way out. And you hate to see that one there, Joe. You hate to see that. 6-4, Youngstown State serve. Rachel Rossman with the set. Big one for Annika Brisby. Gets recovered by Youngstown State. Soft touch attempt there. A big dig from Cesarini, able to keep it alive. Oakland able to keep it going. The crowd's in it. Emily Wickman with a dig just got by one of her teammates. Couldn't quite see it as it came around their shoulder. and was just out of sight, out of mind. And it's going to be another point for Youngstown State. It's been an action-packed set so far, Jacob. I tell you what, Joe. I love the, I love the, I love the effort that the Grizzlies are trying to commit. I love the effort. I love it. 7-4 now, Youngstown State lead. The swim team making their presence known in the student section. And that's going to result in a, in a serve that goes short, hits the net. And you better believe that the swim team's loving that one. They have a certain tradition. You know, when, when you ever see someone serving, they bounce the ball a few times, try to get their hand warmed up for contact on it. Yep. And they, they shout every time the ball bounces. And that one seems to got to Youngstown State's head. Absolutely. 7-5, Oakland serve. Soft touch attempt. Soft touch attempt from Youngstown State will be successful right in the middle. There's a dead zone in the Oakland defense. Able to build their lead. 8-5. In set one. Penguins are going to lead it. Going to be served by number nine, Maria Insana. For the Golden Grizzlies here. 8-5. And there's those bouncing chants I'm talking about from the swim team. There's a left-handed serve. Gentry Brown with the recovery and the attack. It's going to go off the hands of Youngstown State. And it's going to be another Oakland point. 8-6 now, cutting into the lead of Youngstown State. And I'll tell you what, Joe, that was a nice serve. That was a great serve right there. That was, that, that was a great serve. Yeah. Gentry Brown not only had the save on that one, but got her chance. His teammate was able to set her up for a big kill, on, or for a big attack on the close side that ended up in a kill. Another serve from Oakland, a high-flying one. Dig from Wickman. Maybe Gentry Brown to just tap it over to keep the play alive. 
Oakland crossing towards the close side. Sky high on Youngstown State side. Bessarini with the bump. Going to Youngstown State side. Big kill attempt there. Got some hands on it from Oakland. And the quick kill attempt is going to go through for Oakland. 8-7. Now just a one-point lead for Youngstown State. And we're getting close here now. And the Lady Grizzlies are not backing down. They're going to be aggressive, and they're going to meet Youngstown's energy. I love it. Sarah Turner jumping over the line on the serve is going to give it right back to Youngstown State. Shoot! Another, self, another self-inflicted point given to Youngstown State. The Youngstown State, Youngstown State serve. Josie Borum. Nice and easy one. Quick kill attempt. That's going to be number 11 and a 9 for Oakland University. Found the hole in the defense and just real quick, after the third hit, just went straight for it. It only, went over, it only went over the net one or two times on that one. It was a real quick point. Oakland still keeps it within one. It's now 9-8. to eight. Youngstown's still leading. That's how I want to set one. Going back and forth the entire time, Jacob. This is a very exciting set so far. Exactly, Joe. Lisey Bates with the serve now. Going across to the far side. Youngstown State for the attack. Able to be recovered. Cesarini with a kill attempt going on the cross side. Youngstown State picks it up. Back in Oakland side. Here's the attempt from Gentile. Sarah Turner with a quick. Sarah Turner. The set. Sending it over and found the exact right spot in Youngstown State's defense for a kill. Sarah Turner, I mean, her position is setter. You usually don't see many kill attempts or let alone lose that land. But she fooled everybody on that one. Mm. Youngstown State's going to bring the momentum back to their side. It's still Now it's a 10-9 lead for the Penguins. Still a one-point game here, Joe. Still a one-point game. A quick kill to the close side, right on the sideline. Youngstown State still leading here, but by a thin margin. Abby Householder for the serve. Just clips the net. Oakland able to keep playing with it. Libby Gentile with a big kill gets recovered by Youngstown State. Going back, a block attempt is going to prove to go on Oakland's side, on the ground, to give Youngstown State another point. Can't make mistakes like that, Joe. Can't make mistakes like that. We're now 11-9, Youngstown lead. Householder still with the serve. The outside hitter, sophomore, from Canefield, Ohio. Here's the serve. Shallow one, just barely over the net. Turner with the set. Cesarini with the kill attempt. Kills off the hands of Youngstown State. Another kill for Patty Cesarini. And we are back. And we are back to a close game here, Joe. Ten to eleven. It's getting closer. Oakland still waiting to get that lead back, but they're keeping it close. They're keeping Youngstown State on their toes. And I tell you what, they're trying to cook something up here. They're trying to bring that mentality. And Eddie Dolmage now with the serve. Youngstown State with the set goes for a big kill attempt, picked up by Lisi Bates. Cesarini for the kill attempt gets blocked, but Sarah Turner's there to recover it. Dolmage with the bump to Gentile for the kill. And it's going to be outside. Point for Youngstown State. Now a 12-10 game for the Penguins. Two-point lead for the Penguins now. Number 21 is Isadora Sisik. Now for the serve, the libero. The fifth year from Serbia. Getting a chance from the swim team. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but every single every single bounce is boink, boink. <laughs> they sound like the seagulls from Finding Nemo. <laughs> and finally, here's the serve. <laughs> it goes straight out of the back. And you better believe... I, I swear, this swim team, they got some magic with those, with those chants they got going. Not only that, they bring the OU chance where you bring your arms above your head, make an OU shape. Hey, I tell you what, they have energy. They're excited. I love it. Anytime I see the swim team in the stands, I know it's going to be a very energetic crowd. Uh, I've swam myself for four years. I know how, that, how close those teams are, and they get loud for their uh, fellow athletes. Exactly, Joe. Back to the game now. 12-11, Youngstown State lead. 
still going this volley right now. Going back and forth. Had some close digs here on Oakland's side. A kill attempt being, trying to be picked up by Rachel Rossman just off the front of her hands. They land on the ground to give Youngstown State the further lead. 13 to 11 in set one. Serving now for the Penguins is going to be number seven, Isabel Schaffbauer. Penguins now with a two point lead. They've been able to keep their lead within one or two points, but Oakland just keeps fighting. Right, right. Cesarini with a kill attempt gets blocked, but picked up by, by Wickman. Wickman's just going to send it across on the third hit. Set from Youngstown State, crossing one, gets Wickman. Lucy Bates is going to be there to save it. One more hit is going to take it across. Patty Cesarini saves the volley, but it lands out of bounds. With such a relaxed hit, he thought it would for sure be in bounds, but it was just a few inches over the line. Youngstown State now with a three-point lead, 14 to 11 in set one. Jeff Bauer still with the serve. And here it comes. Gonna let that one go. As He's gonna give Oakland the point. As the, yep, I was just about to say that, as the Grizzlies get the point. Coming it back within two now. You gotta think at this point in the set, you've been trailing by one, two, three at some times. It's gonna have to be the time now to start cutting into that. Get the lead yourself and try to build on top of it. As we get ready for Patty Cesarini for her serve. 14-12, Youngstown State lead. Finds the ace, and just like that, we're back to a one-point lead for Youngstown State. Oakland staying. I told you, Joe, they're not going to back down. They want to be aggressive, and they're going to match Youngstown's energy. They're going to bring it. I like it. Kevin Beer is calling her Patty Ace Serini. As another serve served. Is going to go to Oakland University. A foul called on Youngstown State. Isabel Schaffauer shaking her head in disbelief. And we're now at a tie game. 14-14 in set one. And the UK do that chance are roaring through the student section. Oh, yeah. There we go. An Oakland Classic started by PA announcer Kevin Beers. Now in his 19th season with the Golden Grizzlies here at the arena. That classic chance. You can't do that. Roaring through the student section for all these years. Starting in 2006, that chance. But it's going to end with a point for Youngstown State. It's going to bring us to the 15-point timeout. Every, every set, we're going to first team to get to 15 is going to get a media timeout here. But we're going to stay with you here on 88.3 FM WXOU. Jacob, Jacob Board alongside me, Giovanni Morsheri. So, Jacob, what have you been seeing so far in this game? You know, we've been seeing a lot of back and forth. What do you see? Well, you, well, you took the words right out of my mouth, Joe. Uh, it's been a lot of back and forth. It's a it's a it's some good action here, I, and I love it. I love the fact that even though Youngstown has the league, Oakland is not backing down. They're going to come with the challenge. And what do we think about the energy from the student section here? The, the swim team is proven to be a force to be reckoned with. Oh, they are very hyped. As you could tell, they are very hyped. But it's not just the student section. I've noticed I've noticed these fans right behind us, and those fans over there. They are very hyped. The cheerleaders are hyped. Everybody's hype. They're enjoying the game and they love it. This home Horizon League opener for Oakland University. It's a tight one here, 15 14. We've got a few seconds left here before we return to action on 88.3 FM WXOU here for live sports. As the teams regain, regain position on the blacktop here in the arena. And we got a conversation between coaching and the players. Patty Cesarini with a bit of a smile, I'm sure, from that ace. As we get ready to get back to action here, Youngstown State number 14, Jasmine Vergara. Here with the serve. Some big screams from the student section in an attempt to distract. A set from Rossman is going to be a, a kill attempt, an attack. It's going to be an attack by Gentry Brown. Going to come back from Youngstown State side for a kill. To now make the score 16 to 14 here in set one. Vergara maintaining the serve for Youngstown State, the outside hitting junior from Columbia. Here's the serve, shallow over the net. Kill from Brown. It's going to go up in the air. Youngstown State's going to be able to recover it. Attack going to be saved from Cesarini and a block from Youngstown State. He's going to make it a 17-14 game here. A set, rather. 
Youngstown State able to just keep that few points ahead of Oakland. And it's going to be up to the Golden Grizzlies to start cutting into this lead and gain one of their own. Well, Joe, I know another thing. The pizza's here. Oh, yeah. We got 30 boxes of pizza ordered here by the Grizz Gang, Oakland University Student Section Organization. <laughs> 30 boxes. That's plenty of slices. 30. As Oakland University gets a point. Gentry Brown credited with the kill at the close corner, able to go right in front of Youngstown State's attempt to block it, falls on Youngstown State's side, right, 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 and we're right. back within two points. I tell you one thing, if the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles were alive, they would enjoy that pizza. <laughs> we're going to be seeing them coming from the sewers pretty soon. <laughs> back to play here, 17-15, Youngstown State lead. And an attack attempt from Oakland University is going to land out of bounds, making it now a three-point game for the Penguins, 18-15. Youngstown State starting to build on it. Some conversation between coaches and players. High five shared from Cesarini and Brown. Keep the, keep the morale up. Is number, 14, is number four, Jocelyn Jordan from Youngstown State. It's here with the serve. Cesarini gets a save. A light touch attempt from Oakland is going to come back at them. We saw Ella Martin from Oakland try to get the soft touch. It was blocked back. And then back to Oakland University, where the hit was just sent too far to give Oakland to give Youngstown State now a four-point lead in set one. Now we have another timeout called by Oakland, and they're going to go into this and they're going to look at the mistakes that have been made. You know, you're going to have to get the whiteboards out. You're going to have to get you have to identify some of the situations that you're going to be caught on here. Because now, now that it's a four-point lead, Oakland seems to be comfortable with it being within within three, more preferably two and one. They kept the play going here, but now you get to four. You can't let it go any further here, and the coaching staff decided to call a timeout just for that. Exactly. So take a 30 boxes of pizza. I was doing the math. You, you can have 120 students in the section, and each of them get two slices each. And the crazy thing about it is, like, everybody's coming for the pizza. They're coming for the pizza. They, it's not a bad reason. Listen, if, there, if there's pizza, there is no bad reason. 30 for boxes, it. though, Joe. 30 boxes. They, we've been told, the whole, the, us, the broadcasting crew, and everybody, have been trying to tell everybody to get to the arena. I'm going to continue to tell you guys this. Like, they're not get even. Get to the arena. Get a slice for yourself and get a slice of the action. Like, they're not even coming for the popcorn. They're just coming for the pizza. <laughs> As we see the, as we're seeing the the men's swim team, they're approaching the top of the arena. Oh yeah, <laughs> I think we teased this at the beginning of the broadcast, but the swim team they have a little tradition when it comes to the home Horizon League opener for Oakland games. Right, right. Uh, take it a little bit, uh, give them some time yeah. before the. Oh, we'll just we'll obviously let you know what's happening here in the arena. But back to action here, 1915 Youngstown State lead. Youngstown State with a dig, digging deep to save that one after an attack attempt from Oakland. Gentry Brown with a big hit on the ball. It's going to come back on Oakland's side, but out of bounds and give Oakland the point. It is now 19-16. to Still Youngstown State's lead. And this is what the Grizzlies need right now. They need the momentum to shift back to their side. This is what, this is what they need right now. This is what they want. Now is the time to take advantage. Number five, Sarah Turner. Celebrating a thousand digs in her career today was gifted a golden volleyball for that. And here's a serve, a lot of mustard on that one. Goes out of bounds from the back. And Youngstown State has reached a 20 point mark, four point lead. You know, this Grizzlies team is playing very hard right now, but they must be careful. They have to be careful of what they do. And make sure to maintain control. Josie Borum for Youngstown State with the serve, a shallow one over the net. Turner with this, Turner with the set and is going to be sent to and Ainsley Goose for the kill. And the Grizzlies aren't done yet, Joe. They're not done just yet. They're now to a three-point lead here, twenty to seventeen. Youngstown State lead. Number two, Lisi Bates, the defensive specialist slash libero, here for the serve. Oakland's going to have to turn around around soon for this set one. Good serve in play now for Youngstown State. Attack attempt is going to be recovered by Sarah Turner. Kill attempt from Cesarini is going to be blocked. Still on Youngstown State side. Here's the, here's the attack. Sarah Turner able to recover it after an Emily Wickman dig. 
Youngstown State, third hit, looking for the attack. It goes off the top of the hands of the Golden Grizzlies. Out of bounds and Penguins point. 21-17, back to that four-point lead Youngstown State had before the timeout. Youngstown State's number 23, Abby Householder now with the serve. Over the net, Lisey Bates with the recovery. Sarah Turner for the set. Attack from Cesarini, unsuccessful. Back in Youngstown State's half. Soft touch attempt is going to be recovered by the Grizzlies. Another attack from Cesarini is going to go out of bounds off the hands of number 21, Isadora Sisic. And that's going to be another kill for Cesarini. 21-18, set one now. It's getting close now. Back to three points. I don't know about you, partner, but at halftime, I think I might go get a slice of pizza myself. That's right, and you can too if you come down to the old arena, courtesy of the Grizz Gang. Youngstown say with a kill to bring it to 22-18. to Going to be their serve now. Number 21, Isadora Sisic. Four-point lead now. Swim team with their chance, and it's going to be a timeout for Oakland. It's going to be a minute, 15 seconds here. 22 to 18. Youngstown stay leading in set one here. Swim team, actually, I guess they went up to get some pizza. They had to go up to uh, for their tradition. I know I keep teasing this, but trust me, it's going to be worth it. And if it's not, I'll tell you what it is anyway. Yeah. <laughs> If you're just joining us on 88.3 FM WXOU Live Sports, thank you for listening. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Giovanni Mosheri here for Play by Play. To my side here in the arena is the one and only Jacob Board here for your color commentary. And we're so glad you joined us here on Oakland University Student Radio Station, the one and only, baby, WXOU. Here's a message from the Formula SAE team at Oakland University. The Formula SAE team at Oakland University designs, builds, and tests a Formula race car every single year. SAE is an internationally recognized organization, and OU competes locally and with other universities across the globe. Gaining engineering, engineering experience outside the classroom by joining SAE. All majors are welcome to join, and no experience is required. If you're interested, meetings are Saturdays at 1 o'clock in the, in the Oakland Engineering Center. Downstairs, all the way down towards to uh, closest to Kregsky Library, you'll find the SAE Garage. As we now get back here to action in set one, Youngstown State leads 22 to 18. It's now Youngstown State serve. Number 21, Isadora Sisic, with the serve, is up and over. Lucy Bates with the recovery. Sarah Turner to set. Annika Brisby with the attack attempt gets recovered by the Penguins. Another attack attempt will go through for Youngstown State. They've now reached 23 points. Against Oakland's 18. There's a quick set, a quick attack from Turner to Brisby. To Prisby. And now Youngstown State's within two points of winning set one. Turner with the save. Cesarini with the big attack. It's going to go over the hands of Youngstown State. It's going to bring them to 19 points. And be careful what you say there, Joe. Be careful what you say there. The set is not over here in the arena. 23 to 19. Libby Gentile now with the serve for Oakland University. Here's the hit. Up and over. Youngstown possession. An attack attempt rolls over the hands of Prisby. Cesarini with a soft touch, but number two, Josie Borum for Youngstown State, able to recover it. Back in Oakland territory. Wickman with the with the bump. Cesarini with the attack, comes back. Cesarini saves it. Now back to Gentile. Blocked again. And it's going to go out of bounds. And after some delay, it's going to be going towards Youngstown State. They're now one point away from taking set one, 24-19. Oakland's going to have to dig deep to take this one in set one. I don't really know if I agree with that call, Joe. I don't really know. But I'm not the ref, so I can't really make that call. There's nothing more I wish as a broadcaster. as uh, I wish I could just be the ref sometimes. You but back to action here. Cesarini with a kill to bring it to 20-24. to 24. Didn't take long. Cesarini piling on the kills now. Cesarini now with the serve.
Cesarini, 24 to 20. Grizzlies down by four in set one against the Penguins. Penguins send it over. Cesarini gives it a chance, and it's going to go out of bounds. And set one is going to go to the Youngstown State Penguins. I'll tell you what, Jacob, I'm almost out of breath here. That was a back and forth set, 20 to 25 in favor of Youngstown State. We're going to go into set two now in a little bit on WXOU. Jacob, what did you see from that? What can, they, what can the Grizzlies take away from that game coming into set two? Well, like I said, Joe, they have to be careful with these turnovers because Youngstown, as we can see, is going to take advantage of every turnover that Oakland gives them. So we must be very care they must be very careful. Yeah, some of those self-inflicted wounds, we saw them early in the set there. A couple of missed serves. We saw so a little bit of miscommunication there. And I'll tell you what, Youngstown State, they seem to be able to react to anything. They've been having some fantastic digs low to the ground, able to keep all sorts of sets, all sorts of volleys alive. And the Penguins are proving to be a formidable foe here in the arena. I'll tell you one thing, Joe. The Grizzlies need to keep an eye on number 14. She is having a good game right now. She's playing very hard. Jasmine Vergara has been playing a great game for the Penguins. From, from Colombia. Buenaventura, Colombia. Man, I love saying that. that. That one just rolls off the tongue. Coming from Miami Dade College, majoring in communication studies, specifying in social media. Right. You see, Youngstown State, in their... Uh, Athletics website, they were nice enough to put the majors of all their athletes. That's something I always like to see because at the end of the day, Absolutely. when these athletes go home and they become students, it's a student, I mean, it's a classic balance of student athlete. The students got to come first. And, you know, and let's, it's and let's, important to know that. And let's never forget, let's never forget, when you're a student athlete, you must be a student first and an athlete second. Let's never forget that. As we're getting ready for. Set two here. We're going to send it to the studio here. We'll be right back in one minute here on 88.3 FM WXOU. We'll be back here for set two between the Grizzlies and the Penguins. 3 FM WXOU. For women's volleyball, as the Golden Grizzlies take on the Youngstown State Penguins, set one has concluded. Youngstown State wins set one 25 to 20 in a set that was back and forth the entire time. Oakland was able to keep it within one to two, and then as we got closer to 20, the lead started to grow to four, and then ending with the lead in five. Youngstown State now up 1 0 against the Golden Grizzlies going into set two. Youngstown State now on our right. Golden Grizzlies on our left to swap sides between each set here. And we've seen that the Golden Grizzlies, they have a few things to clean up coming from set one. But it, like I mentioned before, it's a very back, it was a very back and forth. It was very close the entire time. Oakland's going to have to make up for that deficit now in set two here, try to tie it up here to take the home Horizon League opener back in control. Got number two for Oakland University, Lisey Bates, for the serve to start set two. Young South State able to control it. A soft touch on the far side. It's going to be saved by Wickman. Wickman going all the way on the ground, sliding what seems like three feet for it to save the set there. Oakland keeps it alive. A bump from Cesarini will take it over on the third hit. Young South State going for another one. Sarah Turner able to save it. Wickman with the bump and a attack from. Patty Cesarini is going to be blocked to give Youngstown State the first points of set two. Now, number 21, Isadora Sissick for Youngstown State, right behind the student section. He's going to take the serve for Youngstown State. It's up and over, shallow over the net. Turner set. Cesarini for the attack, and it's going to be a kill for Oakland to tie it up in set two. We're now tied at 1 1. I tell you what, Joe, they may have lost the first match, but they have redemption. They're getting redemption here, tying it up. Got to keep it close in this one as well. Exactly. Number 11, Goose for the serve. It's going to sail over and give it right back to Youngstown State. We talked about that after set one, that some of those mistakes early are stuff that could pile on throughout the rest of the set. Correct. Correct. Now number seven, Isabella Schaefbauer is going to be taking the serve for Youngstown State. And the student section's letting them have it. They're going to do it for every serve. Up and over. Cesarini with the bump. 
Annika Prisby with the attack. It'll be recovered by Youngstown State. Youngstown with a bump over. Ingra is a control. Libby Gentile going for the kill, but it's going to be blocked and sent back in their territory by Youngstown State. And here we go again, Joe. Here we go again. Josie Borm, I believe, is credited with the block. The 6-1 fifth year from Sterling. Transferred from Chicago State. And a loud, loud screech from the student section before that one. Hey, they're very hyped, man. They're very hyped. Young South State in control of it on the far side. Oakland University gets the block. It's it's Prisby and Cesarini on the team block. Now 3-2 Youngstown State leads. Going to give the serve back to Oakland. Number nine. Number nine, Rachel Rossman now here oh, for the serve. Hold on. We got a little. Oh, I, I thought we had a little bit of action coming from over that side, Joe. <laughs> over in the student section. Not yeah. quite yet. <laughs> Rossman yeah. with the serve. Recovered by Youngstown State. Number two, Borum with the attack is going to be saved by goal by Oakland. A big, a big dig and save from number twenty-one on Youngstown State. Sissick able to slide on her knees for that one. An attack is going to be saved by Wickman, sent over by Cesarini. Going back and forth, this volley is going for a while now. Rossman giving it a chance. Lisi Bates going to have to set it all the way over into the rafters. And almost knocks over the Starbucks cup of the media table right next to us. Lisey Bates all the way, like way beyond the back line on the third hit. Just had to send it over with two hands behind her head. Send it all the way up into the rafters. And that could have been some technology destruction on the media table. And you got to love it, Joe. I just, like I said, it's, not, it's all about effort. You got to love it from, from the Grizzlies. And speaking of effort, a little bit of too much there from Jasmine Vergara to send that serve over. The back line is going to give Oakland back the ball. It's now 4-3 to three in set two. Youngstown State up one set to zero. Cesarini back to serve. Three serving four. Ooh. And it's going, that one's going to go short. Some frustration from Cesarini. It's going to be now five serving three. Youngstown State lead. That was a bad call there, Joe. That was a bad call by our Grizzlies. Cesarini knew it right away. That's frustration for the turnover there. Still only a two-point set here. And we get what? a screen from the student section. Oh, we're going to get that one every time, and I'm going to love every second of it. Oh, yeah. Number four, Jocelyn Jordan with the serve. It's going to end at a point. And a little bit of a mix there for the, for the Lady Grizzlies. It's going to be 6-3 in set two. Jordan, the outside hitter, 6-2 from Austintown, Ohio. Majoring in business administration. Here to serve once again. Six serving three, Youngstown lead. Goes to Wickman, she saves it. And now that's going to be a kill for Oakland's number seven, Ellen Shot. What an appropriate last name. Shot with the shot. Listen, this say, stuff writes itself, George, say, uh, say, Jacob. Say that again, Joe, say that again. <laughs> I just want you to say that again. <laughs> we got to move on to the game here. Oh, man. Number six, Emily Wickman. Serves it for the Golden Grizzlies. A soft touch for number, from number 14 in Youngstown State. Can't recover it. Number 21, Isadora assists it. Couldn't get enough of her hand underneath it. Rolls on the ground, and it's now 5-6. Golden Grizzlies only down by one point. And we're right back in it. Very close game. Very close. A game all about momentum. That's what volleyball is. Wickman, five serving six. And that one's going to be low and hits the net again. It's like... It's like every time we get close, it's like we tend to shoot ourselves in the foot sometimes. It's, it's, fr it's <sighs> definitely frustrating, but it's going to send it right back to Youngstown State. 7-5. Going to be number two, Borm with the serve. Up and over. Cesarini able to save it. Bump from Wickman. It's going to send it to Brown for the kill. She got it! Gentry Brown got it over the top of the hands of Youngstown State. Rolls all the way back for an Oakland point. Sarah Turner now for the serve. 6-7 now. Youngstown State leading by only one. This one could tie the game. And here we go. Another back and forth between the Grizzlies and the Penguins. And the save from Youngstown State is going to send it right over to Oakland, who return it immediately. And a kill attempt 
from Youngstown State. It's going to be successful. Going to go right in front of. It's going to go right in front of Gentile and Goose, trying for the block. Number twenty-three, Abby Householder for the serve for the Youngstown State. Eight to six. Gentile trying her best to serve to get it back behind her head with one hand. Did not prove to be enough. Now we're Oakland University down by three, nine to six, and set two. Youngstown State leads by one. Householder back with the serve. Barely over the net. A soft touch from Turner. He's going to violate the rules here. Touch the net, I believe. And the refs are going to give them the point. And they're they're going to call. They're going to call it how they see it. Oakland now down by four, ten to six, and set two. Youngstown State still leads. By one set. Householder with the serve. Up and over. Cesarini to Turner. To Goose. And a backhand from number 21 on Youngstown State. It's going to keep it alive. And both Cesarini and Wickman going for the going for the dig to keep it alive. Neither was able to get good contact on it. And that's now going to be a five-point lead for Youngstown State. And we got a timeout by the Oakland Grizzlies. And this is not how Oakland wanted to start this set. It is not. Down five points, 11 to six. And we've been seeing, like, Jacob, like you mentioned before, in set one, some of those errors, you know, the the, the short serves, it's going to be tough for, you know, Oakland's going to have to work to overcome those. Yep. If they want to get back in this game, they're going to have to play catch up. They're going to have to play catch up. Got to make sure that those serves go over the net because we saw that happen twice now from two different Grizzlies. Correct, Joe. Correct. But we still got plenty of volleyball to play here, 11 to six. Youngstown State lead. Youngstown State one set one. We're here in set two on 88.3 FM WXOU. Giovanni Mosheri alongside Jacob Board for your WXOU live sports, baby. Youngstown State returns to the blacktop. The university follows. A shout out to our event staff here at the at the Oakland, at the OU Credit Union Arena now, as the arena has been, has found a name, I guess we could call it, uh, been adopted by the, the OU Credit Union, now the OU Credit Union Arena. And a big deal announced at the gold, at the Black and Gold Awards this past summer. Back to action here, 11 to 6. Youngstown State serve, back in their territory. An attack for number 23. Abby Householder, the kill will go through. Now a six-point lead for the Penguins against the Golden Grizzlies. And that is not what you want to see at all. Especially coming out of a timeout. But the, the encouragement, we see Cesarini directing traffic, encouraging her teammates. Here with the bump after the serve. A block attempt from Youngstown State. It's not going to be successful. And Dana Ma- the student section, there it is, Joe. Here it is, the the swim team, their tradition is here. Every year the swim team comes to the to the arena wearing their Speedos underneath what they're wearing, and they take an almost naked lap around the entire arena. He get a ruckus of it, trying to distract the Youngstown State Penguins. And just living out one of their Oakland traditions. Oakland trying to get it back into play here. Cesarini with the third hit, able to save the possession. Youngstown State... Vergara with the kill gets blocked by Oakland. Now a 12 8 game. And a volleyball goes two. into the stance. <laughs> and he's dribbling it like it's a basketball. <laughs> we see the swim, <laughs> swim team. And, and the swim team is going crazy right now. And I love it. They're proving why they're an all time classic here at Oakland University. It's the Golden Grizzlies get the points here. A kill attempt goes out of bounds for Youngstown State. Now we're back within three. It's 12-9. Swim team returns to their seats. Yeah. Youngstown State. Vergara with the ki- with the attack is blocked by Oakland. Back in their possession. A soft touch. Wickman for Oakland is able to get a hand on it. Gentile unable to get the kill. Here comes Vergara again with another hit. Back in Oakland possession. Cesarini goes for it. Saved by Youngstown State. This one's going to be in the air for a while, it seems. And off the hands of Sarah Turner, unable to get the get possession or keep possession in bounds. 
is going to give Youngstown State the points. And now we see the swim team out of their seats, up against the, up against the desk. In one of their great, in one of the greatest traditions we see at Oakland University Athletics, well, I love this stuff, dude. Well, Joe, well, Joe, they are going to try to do everything they can to distract the Youngstown team. Here's a serve from 21 Sissick. Sarah Turner trying to fake out the Youngstown State Penguins. She was going for not a set with one hand, but instead of taking it over, just a flick of the wrist to Youngstown State side, she takes it to Oakland side, trying to get the kill. For her teammate, but was unable to connect it. It fell to the ground. True, Joe. True. <laughs> and we're making and Oakland social media is making sure to get the to get the scene of the swim team right behind the Youngstown State server. Vergara gets the kill as it comes off the top of the hands of the Golden Grizzlies. They reach 15 points. It's now 15 to nine. Youngstown State. Youngstown State still leads. Yep. I got. I'll tell you what. I would have a very hard time serving if I had the uh, a speedo, a speedo wearing uh, <laughs> swim team right behind me. And they are very excited about what just happened. Oakland gets the point off of just a couple of back and forths between the teams. We're now fifteen to ten. Now Oakland's still down by five. We got Kennedy Dolmich here for the serve with her walk-up song being Business by Eminem and Dr. Dre. I love that song. Yep. Young Sound stay back in action. It's going to get another point for them, 16 to 10. A soft touch. They were, Young Sound State was faking the hard attack. It's a little bit of a softer one, kind of like, a kind of like an off-speed pitch. Oakland unable to get underneath it in time. Now down by six again. 16 to 10 in set two. Number seven, Shafe Bauer for the Penguins going for the serve. Up and over, Lisey Bates with the recovery. A soft touch attempt from Oakland gets recovered by the Penguins. Crossing to Cesarini, going for it. She gets it. That's another kill for Patty Cesarini. Well, even though they're down right now, they're still coming back. They still feel like they're in this right now. So don't count them out just yet. The set is not over. Oakland trying to get the momentum back. We got Rachel Rossman up with the serve. Up and over. In play, Youngstown State's got it. Cross it to the close side. Oakland blocks the attack. And a fake set is going to bring it to the other side. Wickman taking it over with a bump. And a kill attempt from the far side is blocked by Oakland, and that's going to give another point to the Golden Grizzlies. The 12 and set two, Oakland with the momentum now, starting to make a comeback here. Now within four. Here's a serve from Rossman. Recovered by Youngstown State to the close side. Here comes the attack off the fingertips of Oakland. Whistle's going to be blown, some touching of the net. That's going to go to Youngstown State. And, you know, I don't really understand that call. We, so, we, so we touched the net. Ah, okay. Not, not able to touch the net here in volleyball. You got, and that's a big part of the technique there. That's why some of the height matters here because you got to be able to get over the net, get your hands over, but you can't, you can't touch it. you got to have your wrist bend over it. It's a very delicate technique. It's something yep. they practice all the time. Oh, I got a little distracted there. We had, the, uh, we had the ball fly into the stands. I caught it with one hand. It was awesome. Yeah, Joe, you should have played football. <laughs> <laughs> Get me out there, coach. I got it. Yeah. Youngstown State, 17 to 13. Now, Patty Cesarini with the serve for the Grizzlies. Recovered by Sissick. Now, in the hands of the Golden Grizzlies, comes across. We're going back and forth. They're not doing the 1 2 3. It's coming across whenever it does. A kill attempt being blocked. Sent now back to Youngstown State from the Grizzlies. A big attack. Recovered by Oakland, and a quick attack attempt is going to still be recovered. Youngstown State making this one take a while now. Oakland with the block. Up to the far side. And some, some awkward contact with the ball there. Still going to send it over. We got some buzz from the crowd here. The whistle is blown before contact was made on the ball from the ground. It's going to be another point for Youngstown State after such a long volley to it see is. it end without it hitting the it ground. Is. Frustrating for the Golden Grizzlies. And they had them, Joe. They were right there with them. 
Lost momentum. It's going to go back to the Penguins. Number four, Jordan for the serve. Swim team still there, still making themselves known. That serve's going to go out and away. I'll tell you what, Joe. The swim team is having the time of their lives right now. I would rec- I would reckon that they're part that, that they are, you know, they're, they're the seventh they're the seventh grizzly on the court here. And here's a serve from Wickman. Low, still gets across. An attack from the far side, blocked by Oakland. Back from the other side, Patty Cesarini going for the one handed, going for the one handed dig, unable to get good contact on it. Youngstown State has reached 19 points. Oakland only with 14. In set two, Youngstown State leads 1-0 in the match. And we have the coach talking to the ref over here. Did not like the call. She did not like the call at all. That's a tough one. It's a conversation between the Grizzly coaches and their athletes. Ref's telling everybody to hurry up. A double whistle. (laughs) And here's a serve from Youngstown State. Back to Oakland Territory. There's a kill attempt off by one hand from, from Youngstown State, and Youngstown State gets the kill to reach 20 points. In the preseason polls, Youngstown State was ranked number eight coming into the season. Oakland ranked six, and it looks like Youngstown State has put, is, is giving it to them. We have a timeout now. We're going to take a break here on 88.3 FM WXOU. It's 20 to 14 in set two. Golden Grizz is going to need to come back to get into this one, and we'll send it back to the studio on 88.3 FM WXOU. To the arena here on 88.3 FM WXOU is the Golden Grizzlies volleyball takes on the Youngstown State Penguins in the Horizon League home opener. Youngstown State leads it, set, winning set one here in set two. They lead 20 to 15. Oakland. With the recent score, it's going to be back to Oakland for the serve. It's going to be Sarah Turner. Sends it to Youngstown State. They're able to handle it. They get the, they get the kill right away in the, returning, in the returning possession. Now 21-15. to 15, Youngstown State leads by six. This is going to have to tighten the bolts on this one. The set's not over yet. And, Youngst- and Youngstown is looking very, very good here. They have a 21-15 to 15 league over Oakland. They got all the confidence in the world so far, even behind the almost naked swim team. Here, here's the serve from Householder. And it looked like Gentry Brown looking for the corner. Mishandled by the Penguins, and that's going to be a point for Oakland, giving them now a 16, to now making it 21-16. to 16. Lisey Bates, the sophomore from Portage, Michigan, ready to serve for the Golden Grizzlies. 16 serving 21. And it's going to go just outside the back line, bringing it back to Youngstown State, now 16 to 22. Got some substitutions for the Penguins. Julia Sell in for the Penguins. Chance from the student section. Disick with the serve. Up to the opposite corner to Bates. Turner with the bump. Coming up for Cesarini. Gets it right before the back line for the sniper. 17-22 now. Oakland's starting to dig into this a little bit, but this is no time for silly mistakes. This is no time for... Let's avoid a jinx here. They have to say... Too late. I jinxed it. Nice job, Joe. <laughs> And on a, we got an Ainsley Goose with the soft, the if soft I'm, serve. If I'm Oakland, I'm still going to stay resilient. I'm not going to get it overhyped. I'm not going to do all this and that and the third. I'm just going to take the points and I'm going to focus. 23 is serving 17 here. Youngstown State with the lead. Youngstown State looking for Gentile. Can Gentile get it? She can. And they've got it. 18 to 23. It's a thin margin, but Oakland's making progress. And it looks like Sissick found the spot on the court where it was a little bit 
Uh, not to their liking, taking a towel to that one. And Youngston is going to have to be careful here because the Grizzlies are starting to get hot. Gentile, the redshirt junior from Blissville, Michigan. Here now with the serve, 18 serving 23. Youngstown State's got it. An attack will go through the hands, but, in, but Lacey Bates able to keep it alive. Back in a single hit to Oakland Territory. Turner to Cicerini. Comes back to them in one hit. Find it again. Turner to Cicerini. And they got it on a razor-thin margin on the outside line. And that's going to be another kill for Patty Cicerini. And here we go, Joe. This is what you want to see. This is what you want to see. A late set surge for Oakland. Gentile back with the serve. Up and over. Some mishandling from the Penguins is going to bring Oakland to now 20 points. It's 20-23. to 23. Oakland's got all the momentum right now. And it is a three-point game, and Youngston has just called the timeout. Libby Gentile with the ace. And that's going to be a timeout called by Youngstown State here. 23-20. to 20. We're going to stick with it here on 88.3 FM WXOU. Coming close to the end of set two. Youngstown State had the lead as much as six for at one point, and for a long time, Oakland's now got it within three. We're seeing some of the momentum. Youngstown State, they've been making some mistakes. Fumbling the possession, not communicating well. Bad contact on the arms. And we're seeing all that benefit the Golden Grizzlies. And I'll tell you what, the student section is very hyped right now. Oh, they got the Grizzly coaster going. Yep. Jonas Cantrell, freestyle sprinter for the Golden Grizzlies, leading the charge for the swim team. Jonas Cantrell, if you watch that guy in the Oakland Aquatic Center, if you see him do his 50, it, it's like he's not even, it's like he's just a motorboat. Looks like David Hasselhoff in the SpongeBob movies. Man, you got some fast swimmers here at Oakland University, and that's why they got such a rich, rich history. Back to action here. Libby Gentile for the Golden Grizzlies. 20 serving, 23 in set two. Oakland looking for the comeback. Here's Gentile. Sends it out and away off, over the back line. Youngstown State now within one point of taking set two and a 2-0 lead. And that is not what you want to do here, Joe. You do not want to let this game slip away. Came out with a little bit too much mustard. It's going to be Jasmine Vergara, the outside hitter. Here's the serve. Up and over, Cesarini made contact with it. Goes over to Youngstown State side. They're able to, to attempt the block, but comes back to Oakland, back to Youngstown. The kill attempt will go through. Hits the ground on target. Youngstown State in the second set. Same score as the first. 25 to 20. And Oakland's now going to have to take it to set five if they want to take this one back. True. True, true, true. Now, Jacob, we saw the Grizzlies make a comeback late in the set. What did you see? What kept them away from it? Well, it's like this, Joe. Every time they get close, Youngstown always finds a way to pull away. And, and you don't want to see that. You don't want to come too close to the point of which you're just going to get far again. You never want to do that. It's like that. You can get close, but it's about finishing. It's about getting past the point. It's about getting the lead yourself. Exactly. And it's something that we're seeing the Golden Grizzlies do again and again for today's game. Youngstown State now leads it two, two sets to zero. We're going to send it back to the studio on 88.3 FM WXOU. We'll bring you set three on WXOU. We'll be right back. Thank you, Joe and Jacob. Well, it's looking a little bit grim here for the Golden Grizzlies. They're now going to have to take it to set five in order to take this volleyball game. Still a lot of time left for the Golden Grizzlies to make an impact on the Youngstown State Penguins. Libby Gentile and Patty Cesarina looking especially good for the Oakland side. We'll get you back to action soon after the break. You're listening to 88.3 FM WXOU. WXOU for Oakland University Volleyball against the Youngstown State Penguins in the Horizon League home opener here in the arena. Youngstown State just completed two identical sets, winning 25-20 to 20 in each set. We're now here in set three, and, and a missed 
placed serve is going to give Oakland University the first point. Went out and away behind the back line. Uh, from number 23, Abby Householder. Goose with the serve for the Golden Grizzlies. Now back in Grizzly control. And it's going to be a turner to Prisby for the second point of the Golden Grizzlies. Oakland leading for the, for the first time since the first set. Now here in set three, Goose with another serve. Up and over, but behind Ooh. the back line. And like we said, Joe, like we said, we, this cannot happen again. The Grizzlies cannot take control, and then they lose momentum. It cannot happen. Score now 2-1 in set three. We've got Isadora Sisik, the libero for the Penguins with the serve. Up and over. Sarah to Cesarini. Sarah Turner to Cesarini, and that's going to be another Oakland point. Three to one in set one. And now the student section is turned. It's hyped. They got a copy of the Oakland Post in their hands. Isn't that as, uh, well, if they're too hot, they could fan themselves with it or you know, take a read of the sports section, of course. Back to the game here. Three serving one. Golden Grizzlies lead. And, <laughs> and the ball was coming towards the media table. I had to brace myself for impact. Luckily, it bounced in a way that came right back to the blacktop. Right, 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 right. <laughs> and it was Oakland's point, 4-1. Rachel Rossman with the serve. Attack attempt from Youngstown State's going to return it back to their side. On the far side. And Lisi, base with a one-handed save, is going to keep the volley alive for the Grizzlies. Far side attack, that one's gonna land. Jasmine Vergara with the kill. And it's getting very interesting here, Joe. Two to four, Youngston. We're starting to cut into it. We're starting to cut into it as well. Oakland with the lead for the first time since the first set. Gonna have to try their best to hold on to it. Now it's number seven, Isabel Schaffbauer for the serve. Recovered by the Grizzlies. Cesarini with the kill attempt. Can she get it? Recovered by Youngstown State. Attack attempt from Vergara. Back to the Grizzlies. Gets it to Youngstown State. And, and an a, error. And the on, point is going to go to the Grizzlies. Finally, when the ref blows the whistle, it goes to Oakland this time. Instead of Youngstown. 5-2 to two is now the score. Oh, and the, oh and here comes the chat, go. You can't do that, says the crowd. Patty Cesarini now with the serve. Here it comes. Up and over. And Sound State in control now. Far side attack. Is going to touch one of the Golden Grizzlies' hands. Lands out of bounds, so it's going to be Youngstown State's point. 5-3, to three, still Oakland lead here in set three. And the momentum is going... The momentum is still going Oakland's way, but Youngstown is slowly starting to catch up. It's a 5-3 to three lead. Let's just see where it goes. Youngstown State breathing down their necks. Regaro with the serve. Wickerman with the save. Up and over to Gentry Brown. Able to be recovered by the Penguins. A bump over will bring it back to the Grizzlies. In control. Rossman to Brown. Is going to land for a kill. And, and the crowd is fired up, Joe. The crowd is very fired up. Here we go. Here in set three, it's do or die for the Golden Grizzlies. Time to stay alive. With a three-point lead, they sure are doing it right now. Six to three. Emily Wickman with the serve. Oh, pardon me that. Pardon me that. Now six four. Youngstown State gets the point. I was checking out. <laughs> I was looking at my notes. I thought I was uh, misidentifying Emily Wickman the entire time, but no, I got them. I got my numbers right. Back to the game here, 6-4, Youngstown State with the serve. And here we go again. And a soft touch, a soft touch by Ainsley Goose is going to be unsuccessful. And Youngstown o State able to recover from that one. And Oakland is going to get the point here, Joe. Oh, my mistake, that's right. Oakland now with the 7-4 lead. Pardon my eyes. And now they're starting to feel the confidence here a little bit. It's starting to flow. It's going the Golden Grizzlies way so far. 7-4 to four in set three. Youngstown State leads it two sets, one to none. Or 
And now we're going to see Sarah Turner for the serve. From Lagoff, South Carolina. Here's the serve. Picked up by Youngstown State. Serve on the... Attack on the close side is going to turn into a kill coming off the hands of the Golden Grizzlies. And it's going to be a 5-7 to seven lead. Grizzlies still lead. Just a two-point lead so far. We saw Youngstown State hold on to a lead like that for the entirety of the first and second set. But we'll the see if Oakland can get their revenge and do the same. Exactly. That's the question. Josie Boren with the serve for Youngstown. Around from the far side to Libby Gentile for the kill. Eight to five now, Oakland building on it. Now three point lead. Lucy Bates returns for the serve. Eight serving five. Bump from Youngstown, far side. Attack attempt can be sent over by Ainsley Goose. In control of the Penguins. A and kill attempt is gonna come out of bounds on the close side for another Oakland point. And the Grizzlies are starting to feel it here. They're starting to get that momentum, that mojo. They're on fire a little bit, just a little bit. The four-point lead this is the largest lead we've seen from Oakland all match long. Lisa Bates with the serve again. Three hits from Youngstown State. It's going to bring it back to the Grizzlies. From Turner to Cesarini for another kill. It's going to be a five-point lead now. Patty Cesarini with another kill. Going to bring... So bring that mojo back to the Golden Grizzlies. We saw Libby Gentile roll the shoulders a little bit. Give, it a, little, the, give it a little swagger with it. She's feeling cocky. That's right. Yeah. Young South State calling a timeout because of that. Oakland leads it 10-5 to five in set three. Young South State, they lead it two sets to nothing. But it looks like it's all Golden Grizzlies so far in the, in the third set. Jacob, let's talk about this energy again. Not only does Oakland have the five-point lead, but we're kind of feeling in the crowd, too. If you weren't watching the game, you had your eyes closed, you could still kind of hear. You could feel the Oakland's winning. What do you, what's your say on that? I would say this team is trying to make a comeback. Like I said in the beginning, when we saw the first match, they are not going to go down this easily. They're going to keep fighting. Oakland's goal is to make it a set four and a set five. Once you get it to set five, anything can happen. It's a long road for the Golden Grizzlies. Still plenty of work to do, but the work looks good so far. Exactly, Joe. Exactly. Starting to return to play here. Pretty Boy Swag by Soldier Boy playing throughout the speakers of the arena. I love that song, too. Me, too. <laughs> I think they got my playlist over there. That buzzer indicates action is back on the blacktop. Oakland getting ready with the serve. Lisey Bates back with it. Portage Northern High School. The sophomore defensive specialist in libero. Ready to send this one over and get back to play. Up and over. Youngstown State in control. Up by the net. Crossing over for an attack. Saved by Wickman. Crossing over back to Cesarini. The set was almost too far away from Sarah Turner. The set was a little bit off place there for Cesarini to kind of just punch it over. It got was out of a bounds. little bit, Joe. It was a little bit. I mean, she thought she was in possession to get that nice little soft touch to where only no one else was going to get that. Yeah. yeah. They practice that all the time. The timing is crucial. A little bit of variation on that. They try it again. Turner to Cesarini. Forces a high flying one on the Youngstown State side. Back and over. Gets past Wickman. Youngstown State 10 to 7, cutting into the lead now. Only up by, or only down by three now. Yep. Swim team taking a look at during the newspaper there. I got a quote in there actually talking about WXOU. Just like that, Oakland's back on the scoreboard there. Serve went over the back line. 11 to seven now in set three for the Golden Grizzlies. As the wonderful Kevin Beers says, Kennedy Dolmage here for the serve. I'll tell you what, Joe, she is very dangerous. One of the, more, one of the veterans on the Golden Grizzlies squad. And an attack attempt from the close side, trying to get it out across. Will go out of bounds and piling on the points for the Grizzlies. Exactly. Now 12 to seven. Dolmage looking for another one. Up 
and over. That one's going to be outside in the opposite corner there. Giving it back to Youngstown State. 12 to 8. Grizzlies still lead. Got some substitutions. Julia Sell coming back in for number four, Jocelyn Jordan. The sophomore, 6'2", from Chargon Falls of Ohio. Libero for Youngstown State with the serve. Ooh. Sissick, that's going to be an ace. Score now 12 to 9. Golden Grizzlies still lead. Sissick back to serve. Routine clapped from Youngstown State. Up and over from Sissick. Gets close to the net. Going to have to. Some sloppy, some sloppy play there. Wasn't able to get the ball up in the air within play. It was rolling across the net. Joe, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't really think they should have gotten involved. Because it was pretty much going to go their way until they touched the ball. So I don't really feel like they should have did that. Sometimes it's tough to read whether it's going to go out or not. But either way, it's 12-10 now. Golden Grizzlies lead back in Youngstown State side. A soft touch attempt is going to be saved by Brown. Or by Turner, rather. A couple attacks from Cesarini. One goes through. Back to the Grizzlies side. Turner, two. Gentile, will it go on the ground? It sure will. Oakland back up by three. 13 to 10. Maybe Gentile. Thirteen to ten now. Rachel Rossman up to serve for the Golden Grizzlies. O O O O U is the chance of choice. Number nine up and over to the Penguins. There's a set. There's the attack. Oakland able to keep it in play. Cesarini with the attack, sends it over, brings it back to Youngstown State, who returns the favor. Still in play here. Here come the Golden Grizzlies with another attack. Going back and forth. Bates with the save. Coming to Cesarini for the kill. Gets blocked, sent back to the Grizzlies. Rossman fakes the set and sends it over, and that's going to be a violation. Coach Crystal Rice of the Golden Grizzlies squinting at that one, not... Uh, not convinced, well, because, to say the least. Well, because, Joe, she knows it was a questionable call. I'm going to have to agree with the questionability of it. Young Sound State wiping up the floor at the referee's discretion. 13-11 to 11 now. Oakland still holds a two-point lead. We serve by Chef Bauer. Penguin serve. Up and over to Bates. To Rossman, Cesarini. Locked, set up against the net. Still in play for Youngstown State. They send it over with a lot of force, and it's going to go over past the hands of Emily Wickman. And a one-point game now, Joe. And it's 12-13. to 13. Youngstown State is making it back, coming back into this game. Like I said before, Oakland cannot take their foots off the gas. Youngstown State looking to tie it up. Cesarini with the save. Rossman back to Cesarini. Back to the Grizzlies now. And an attack attempt. And a tie ball game. From Ellen Schott is going to go past the back line. Tie game 13-13. In set three. And Sansei with a 2-0 set lead in the match. And here we go. This is going to be an actual true test of what Oakland can do. A true test. Up and over from Schaffbauer. Goes past Libby J Goes past Lissy DC Bates. Some frustration there. It's going to give Youngtown State the lead. 14-13. Some encouragement. Got to keep the team encouraged. Crystal Rice, a little advice. Isn't that nice? I want, to, I want that clipped. Harge in the studio, we love you. I want that clipped. And the serve from Youngtown State is going to get clipped over the net. Still going to be in play here on Youngstown State side. Back to Oakland. Going back and forth here. Attacks and defense. Patty Cesarini with the save. Rossman brings it back. Too close to the net. 
Cesarini sends it over back to Youngstown State. Trying to get some regularity here. Cesarini with a two-handed finger wag almost. Just kind of close her hand on him with her fingers. Able to get it straight in front of the net for a kill to tie the game. Cesarini is going to be awarded the serve for now. 14 of 14. Up and over. Youngstown State thinking about should have left that one behind. Still got a hand on it. Still got to play it. Back to the Grizzly side. Rossman to Brown. It comes back right into Wickman's face. And it's going to be another point for Youngstown State. They retake the lead. She did not like that, Joe. It did not feel good. And there's, if there's one thing that doesn't feel good, it's a volleyball to the face. Yeah. Back in the hands of the Penguins. Or the flippers, or the wings, rather. What would you call the, the, the arms of a penguin? The flippers, fins? I would say flippers. Back to the flippers of the penguins. Grizzly send it back. High flying one. Got to get this one over the third hit. Soft touch here. Gentry Brown, two. Gentry Brown to Sarah Turner. Two, Annika Prisby. And the Grizzlies attack. And Prisby's kill will tie the game back up at 15. Emily Wickman coming off a bit of a strike to the face from a volleyball. Yep. Now with the serve for the Golden Grizzlies. 15 to 15 in set three. Up and over, and an ace for Wickman. Now 16 to 15. I, I can tell you one thing, though. That hit to the face, it, it didn't affect her. It, she's still she's playing her game. I like it. The compass is still straight for her. Oh, yeah. Up and over, barely over the net. That's another ace in a row for Emily Wickman. Wickman celebrating her celebrating before the game her 1,000th dig of her career. It looks like she's coming up close on a thousand aces at this rate. And we got a and we got a timeout by Youngstown here, and they're going to go to the bench and they're going to think about it while Oakland is feeling very good right now, as they have a two point lead. Two point lead. It's a 17 to 15 game here in set three. We're going to send it back to the studio on 88.3 FM WXOU. Giovanni Mosheri alongside Jacob Board. For the Golden Grizzlies in set three, we'll be right back. Giovanni Mosheri alongside Jacob Board here. We're in set three of women's volleyball against Youngstown State. Youngstown State up two sets to zero. And in set three, Oakland's looking, looking to continue the lead. And I'm telling you, Joe, I'm telling you, they are not done just yet. If they can continue to keep this mentality going into the fourth set, we got ourselves a good old-fashioned game here. That's right. Oakland's going to have to keep the work going to make it a set four, but it's looking good so far. 18 to 15 in set three. Emily Wickman back with the serve. Up and over. Young sound in possession now. And that's going to be a block by... That's going to be a block by number seven, Ellen Schott, as well as her teammates. And I just seen one of the, go the Golden Hoosh. Grizzlies players here just do the little penguin dance, number five. <laughs> and they're loving it. They're having fun. They're going crazy out you here, can, You can definitely tell the attitude has changed on the sideline for Oakland. Oh, yeah, because they want to play. And that's another point for Oakland. Back. We're here at 20 points. Here in a hurry. 20 to 15. Oakland lead in set three. And the swim team is and the swim team is chanting very loud here. They're doing a great job in the crowd here. One of the swimmers didn't actually bring their speedo. They're just in jeans with no shirt on. <laughs> Here's the set. Emily Wickman, 20 serving 15. Youngstown State looking for the kill. They get another block. Gentry Brown. And Ains Ainsley Goose. And number 17. She's feeling it right now. They are feeling it, Joe. The confidence is definitely there right now. They are rising up to the challenge. 21 to 15 now. Emily oh, Wickman yeah. still with the serve. Here it comes. Young Sunset getting control of it. Far side attack attempt being blocked. Whistle's going to be blown. I believe there's, there might have been some contact with... There's some contact with the net there. And the fans here do not agree with that call. If you can hear the boos in the mic, let me tell you, there's booing. And, you know, I kind of don't agree with it either, Joe. I mean, uh, there was a little bit of contact there. The swim team trying to make sense of it. The referee talking to head coach Crystal Rice of the Golden Grizzlies. Trying to get a connection. Trying to get a explanation. 
Here's a serve from Youngstown State. Going to let that one go by as Gentry Brown misjudged it. And it's going to be a, an ace for Youngstown State. And it becomes, it's, that, it's that split second decision. Do you let it go? Do you, play, do you risk the contact not being as good as it could be? Well, the point anyway, you know, you got to make that decision in a split second. Well, those are gut calls, Joe. You have to go with your gut. You have to be willing to trust yourself. 21-17 now. Still Oakland lead. Going back and forth here along the net. The attack from Oakland up in the front. It's going to be a point for Youngstown State. Landed out of bounds. Oakland still trying to keep a grip on the score here. 21 to 18 in set three. And we got a timeout, Oakland. Got to make sure that everyone's on the same page here. Chris Rice calling the timeout. We're going to bring it back to the studio on 88.3 FM WXOU. We'll be back in one minute for the rest of set three here in the O-Rena. 21 to 18, Golden Grizzlies lead. We'll be right back. Three, wrapping up soon now. 21 to 18, Oakland lead. Oakland looking to get their first set for themselves in this match. Youngstown State leads it 2-0. High flying one on Youngstown State side. It's going to be a point for Oakland. I believe that was outside of the pole. It was out of bounds along the net. It's now going to be 22-18. Oakland leads by four. And it's, and it's still a tight game here, Joe. They must finish. They got to finish. And, and Jacob, you were, we were talking off air about the energy on the sideline of Oakland for their team. I... Talk, talk to me about their energy. The, the mood has changed, hasn't it? I would believe so, Joe. I would believe so. There's, they were down. They weren't feeling it. Now they are coming back, and they're starting to get that mentality of which they want to compete. Youngstown State for the soft touch being blocked by Oakland. An attack being saved by Patty Cesarini. And a kill from Libby Gentile is going to go off the hands of one of the Penguins to give them their 23rd point. 23-18, Oakland lead in set three. In Oakland sideline, singing and dancing. Got they're, a good vibe going. They're leading, Joe, but they have to finish. They have to finish. Emily Wickman doing everything she can to catch the ball on the back end, unable to catch it. And it's going to be a point for Youngstown State now, 23-19. to 19. I did not mean to jinx it. I did not mean it's to a jinx it. It's a, it's a dark magic. You can't help it. Sometimes it just happens. It just happens. 23-19, shout out to Monsters, Inc. Here's the serve from Youngstown State. Sarah Turner with the set. Sends it to the attacking teammate. Going to be a point for Oakland. It is now 24-19. Oakland leads it now by five. And here we go, Joe. Here we go. We got set point. Kevin Beer is asking those in the arena to make some noise for the set point. Lisey Bates with the serve. Handled by Youngstown. Up to the opposite side. Here's the attack attempt. The block being recovered from Youngstown State. And the attack is going to go out the back door. 25 to 19, Oakland wins it in set three. And they're not done yet, Joe. They're not done yet. It's now two to one for this match. We got a good old fashioned match here. Two to one. And a fun fact here brought to you by the studios of WXOU. Harjit Buttar has informed me that this set, this set victory for they Oakland. Hate, they they way. Don't be mistaken, we die in this hand. You said it. You said it. We don't like to be, we, uh, I don't like to imagine that we're bad luck here at WXOU, but we, now we've broken the curse. So now we're going to start set four in just a little bit now. We're going to send it back to the studio. We'll be right back for set four. Youngstown State leads it two to one. The Golden Grizzlies stay alive here in the arena. We'll and be back here on 88.3 FM WXOU. Welcome back, everybody, to the arena on 88.3 FM WXOU. Giovanni Moshari alongside Jacob Board here for Oakland University Volleyball. Take it on Youngstown State. And a thrilling set three. Oakland now digging into the lead from Youngstown State. It is now 2-1 in Youngstown State's favor. Teams have swapped sides. Youngstown State's going to be on our right. Oakland on our left. And Oakland stays alive. Lisey Bates getting ready to serve before the Golden Grizzlies. And one stat that was brought to our attention that I wanted to bring more attention to is 
Youngstown State in the first two sets where they both won it both 25 to 20. Their attack by set percentage, 75-71. But in set three where, it was, where Oakland won it, dropped down to 45%. Oakland's been able to keep around 60% for each of the three sets. And now it is very close, Joe. It's two to one. Lucy Bates now with the serve to start set four. Youngstown State receives. Soft touch, put it over. Emily Wickman sliding on the ground to get the dig for that one, saving the possession. Soft possession is going to go over from the, from the Grizzlies back to the Penguins. And an attack attempt will go through by Vergara. 1-0, Youngstown State starts scoring. Going to be number 21, Isidore Sissick. Ready to serve again. Up and over. Received by, Whit by Wickman. To Libby Gentile. And in a controversial call, the point is going to go to Youngstown State. Couldn't quite see the line here from where we're standing here in the arena. So it must have been out of bounds. We're going to leave that one to the judges, even though we have no judicial call or we have no referee call anyway. Makes no difference what we think. And Crystal Rice is going to get an explanation just to make sure that everything is going smoothly. 2-0, to zero, Youngstown State lead. Here's the serve up and over. That one's going to hit the ground before Lisey Bates can get underneath it. An ace from Youngstown State will give him a 3-0 lead. But Jacob, this is not the start that the Golden Grizzlies were looking for coming off of winning set three. Back to serve is Sissick. Up and over. Bates receiving. Up to Turner. Up to Gentile. Gets blocked. Now Youngstown State's up by four in a hurry. 4-0 in set four for Youngstown State. Isadora Sissick looking to pile on the points here. Keep her possession as long as possible. Serve is up. Serve is on the line. Wow, that one looked like it was going to go out. The Golden Grizzlies let that one go, thinking the same thing. And that's going to be a fifth point in a row for Youngstown State to start the fourth set. And they got to get back in it, Joe. They got to get back in it. It's too early to give up, says the Golden Grizzlies. Sissick like back with the serve. Up and over. Received by Cesarini. Going to go up and over. Little miscommunication there. And who was going to be receiving that one? And it's 6-0, Youngstown State and with we the got lead. A, and we got a timeout here. We're calling a timeout on that one. We're going to send it back to Harjan in the studio. We're going to be right back in a minute here after the timeout. On 88.3 FM, WXOU for Oakland Volleyball. Welcome back, everybody, to the arena on 88.3 FM, WXOU. Set four has gotten started. Youngstown State quickly leading by six. The 6-0 six Penguins lead over the Golden Grizzlies in set four here in the arena. And make that seven zip. Oakland looking to find their groove here in set four. They played a great set in set three to stay alive and bring it to the, to the fourth set. But not going as planned. Isadora Sissek has been serving the entire time for Youngstown State. UC Bates receiving it. Sarah Turner going to Cesarini. Youngstown State gets a, hand on it, gets a hand on it. Sends it over. Oakland receives it. Cesarini with another attempt. Gets blocked. We got some back and forth going on here. The, set, the volley is still alive here. Cesarini is taking it over. Youngstown State being picked up. The attack being picked up by Turner. Libby Gentile going for the soft touch. And some contact on the net. He's going to finally get the Golden Grizzlies their first point. Get the momentum back to them. And here we go, Joe. Here we go. Let's see what they can do here. Ainsley Goose now with the serve. One to seven. Young Sound State lead in set four. Right, right. Up and over. Young Sound State handles it. A soft touch off of the attack. Ends up working out. That off-speed strike. From the Youngstown State, it's going to give them their eighth point. 8-1, Eight Penguins lead. The 
We got a new server for Youngstown. Say so it's going to be number seven is over to the sideline. Cesarini slides all the way into the gates, almost into the stands of the arena. Cesarini going for it all. Just, just glad she's okay. Just glad she's okay. Well, that's going to result 9-1. Youngstown State lead in set four. Youngstown State gets this set. The match is done. Lickman setting up Patty Cesarini. And Youngstown State able to get the kill. Oakland attempting the block. Went down on their side of the net right in front of the blockers. And pretty quickly, Oakland is down 10-1 in set four. Youngstown State is feeling like they're up by nine, up on the sideline. Serve from Youngstown is going to be received by Oakland. Cesarini on the far side. It's received. And Annika Prisby gets called for a violation over the net. And it's going to be 11 to 1. Youngstown State leads by 10. Lisey Bates goes out for Gentry Brown. Substitution for the Golden Grizzlies. Jeff Bauer still serving. Up and over. Cesarini receiving to Sarah Turner. Back to Cesarini. Going for the kill. Does not land. Sky high for Youngstown State. Sends it back. Gentry Brown with the receive to Turner. To Brisby. Unable to get it. Youngstown State sends it way over the back line. Gives Oakland back to possession. Now it's 2-11. Oakland's going to be trying to cut into this lead here. It's nine so far. Rachel Rossman with the serve for the Grizzlies. Here we go again. Up and over. Youngstown State send the attack against blocked by Oakland. And the Grizzlies feed off of that. Annika Prisby participating in that block. On the number seven, Ellen Shot. Here's a serve from Rossman. Youngstown State setting it. Gets the kill right off of the shoe of Rossman. And the and the ref is gonna give this to the Grizzlies. Perhaps it's a shoe shine rule I'm not aware of. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Still getting conversation about it. They're, they're gonna they're gonna review this. And now it's 11 to 4 in the fourth set. Youngstown State leads it two sets, one. Oakland. Gonna wait for the call here. All four referees are looking back at the replay or just talking to each other. I can't see if there's a TV on that side. Youngstown State getting loud here. I mean, they're up by. How's my math doing? They're up by seven so far, right away in the fourth set. Penguins still seem excited, laughing and giggling on the sideline. The feelings are good over there. And the ref calls in both players from both teams. Oakland sideline not seeing quite the same energy, which being down by seven so soon, not something you would expect. Still waiting for the call from the referees. And I believe, I'm, I, and I, believe I just saw the ref tell the young lady from the Grizzlies that it's their point. Well, let's see the official call. I like the way you think, Jacob. We're going to have to see officially. We're trying to, to deduce the result of the play. And it looks like it's going to stay Oakland Point. Yep. Head coach Aline Scott for Youngstown State. <laughs> Couldn't believe it. Rubbing her face going, A little what bit just happened? Yep. Mitchell Rossman back to serve for the Grizzlies. A successful receive. And the... The attack from Youngstown State is going to sail all the way back past the back line. Gives Oakland their fifth point. Now it's 5-11. They got to stay in it, Joe. They got to stay in it. They can't get overhyped yet. Rachel Rossman here to serve. 5 serving 11 Youngstown State in control. On the far side, a big windup for the kill. Julia Sell winding that one up forever. Looks like Popeye twisting, their, twisting his fist after a can of spinach on that one. Now it's 12-5, Youngstown State lead. 
The fact you said Popeye, I love it. It's it's funny. Eat your spinach, kids. Very good for you. That's a mishandling of the possession from Oakland. It's going to result in another point from Youngstown State. Ball was an awkward spacing up against the net. 13-5 in set four. Vergara back to serve. 13 serving five. Up and over. Brown receiving to Rossman. To Cesarini. Recovered by the Penguins. Up to across, looking for the attack. Got some hands on it from Oakland, but Rossman a chance to get the dig. Another point for Youngstown State, 14 to 5. And man, Youngstown State is feeling it. Got a loud noise here from the Youngstown State crowd. Yep, they are very fired up, Joe. Soft touch from Oakland is not going to be fooling the Penguins. Big attack is going to be blocked. Silver covered. And the point is going to go to the Grizzlies. Uh, double touch, I think. So that one, if I, if I saw it correctly, so we saw number seven, Isabella Schaffbauer, up against the net. She, bu she bumped it up, got blocked by Oakland, but I don't think it crossed the net to change possession, so it was technically a double tap. Back in action here. Volley's still going. Another point for Youngstown State. A bit of a premature reaction, but the result stays the same. 15 to 6. Youngstown State lead. The Grizzlies looking to come back in this one. I tell you one thing, Joe. If they're looking to make a comeback, it is going to be a lot of work here. They've got a lot of ground to cover. And there's not much time left to go. 15 to 6 in set four. If Youngstown State wins this, the set or the set and match is theirs. Looking for Gentry Brown, a big one! Gets in the hands, missed, handled by Youngstown State, and that's gonna be a kill for Gentry Brown. Be careful what you say there, Joe. You gotta be careful. Hey, I'm just speaking in facts. That's what happened. The mishandling of the receive. I know, I know. I speak in facts, not fiction. Back here to action, Emily Wickman. Seven serving 15. Youngstown State handling it. Big, big attack being blocked by Goose and Brown. Now it's 8 to 15. Oakland seems to be cutting into this lead now. I'm not speaking about what they're going to be doing in the future to prevent the jinx, but so far, it's been a rally for the Grizzlies. Wickman back to serve. 8 serving 8. Eight serving 15. Soft touch. Doesn't fool Oakland. Keeps the set alive. Gentry Brown trying to get it over. And some close interaction from the net. Going to send it to Cesarini. Into the chest of Isadora Sissick. And lands right on the ground. Cesarini hey, gets the kill shot on that one. Hey, Joe, I'll tell you what. I felt that from right here. And I'm not <laughs> even out there. I felt that. That one echoed throughout the old arena there. It did. Back to serve is Wickman for Oakland. Received by Youngstown State, and they get the kill. 16 to 9. Youngstown State still in good spirits now. They're still up by 7. But it used to be up by, I believe it got up to about as much as 10. Oakland able to cut it to 7, but Youngstown State not stopping now. Here's a serve from Youngstown. Big windup from Gentry Brown's not going to go over. Forgive me, yes, it. Forgive me, yes, it will. Gentry Brown again, like winded that one up big time. Now cuts the lead to six, ten to sixteen. And Oakland is saying they're not done just yet. They're not done just yet. Sarah Turner with the serve. In Youngstown State Territory on the third hit. Just got to bump it away to Cesarini. Brown to Gentile for the kill! Oh. Now Oakland got it with, is in within five now. 11 serving 16. Sarah Brown once again up and over. On the receiver was Vergara. And Oakland read that one right. The crossing attack from far to close. 
from our view. And we got a timeout by Youngstown. Youngstown stay. They're realizing Oakland's making a comeback now. Got to talk about it. Got to kind of stop the, the momentum a little bit from Oakland. Grizzlies, they're feeling good right now in set four against Youngstown State. It's 16 to 12. We're going to take a break here on 88.3 FM WXOU. Giovanni Mosheri alongside Jacob Board for Oakland University Volleyball. We'll be right back. Golden Grizzlies and Youngstown State Penguins. It's 12 to 16. Youngstown State just got out of a timeout after Oakland made a surge to make it within four. Youngstown State keeps them at arm's distance. Getting a point themselves. Now it's 17 to 12 in set four. Twenty-three Emmy householder for the serve for Youngstown. Received by Brown. Up and over, and that's gonna be Ainsley. Goose for the kill. From Kent State University from the Mac. Now in the Horizon League with with the Golden Grizzlies from Rochester, Michigan, no, no less. And Youngstown State's going to return the favor in a hurry. 18 to 13 in set four. Back to serve now is Isadora Sissick. Oakland trailing by five. Sissick back to serve. We're waiting a conversation between Krista Rice and the umpire. Now Youngstown State's going to get the serve off. Here's Sissick. Received by Wickman to Turner. To Gentile. It's saved from Young, on Youngstown State. An attempted block from Goose. It's going to end up back on the Oakland side. 19-13. And we got a timeout here by Oakland. And they're going to go in and they're going to take a look. And we're going to take another break here. Got a few timeouts in a row now. We're going to take a break here on 88.3 FM WXOU. Youngstown State maintains the lead 19 to 3 in set, in set four. Youngstown State gets this and they get the win of the match. We'll be right back for the rest of set four on 88.3 FM WXOU. On 88.3 FM WXOU. Giovanni Mosheri alongside Jacob Board for Oakland Volleyball. In set four against Youngstown State, 19 to 13. If Youngstown State gets this, they win game, set, and match. A big attack from Cesarini will land unsuccessfully. But Oakland returns a favor, saving an attack from them. A soft touch from Oakland will be recovered by Youngstown State. Youngstown State sends that one way over the back line. 19 now to 14. Youngstown State cleaning up the their half of the court. About to serve now is Kennedy Dolmage. The senior from Rochester as well. From Lutheran North High School. The defensive specialist getting ready to serve as Youngstown State cleans up their half of the blacktop. Oakland within five. Here's a serve. In control of Youngstown. And the attack from Vergara will go past the back line. Oakland now within four. 15 to 19 in set four. Oakland doing everything they can to make this a set five. Dolmage back to serve. Up and over. Covered by Youngstown. Here's the attack. Attempted block. Recovered by Youngstown State. Across the other side, an attack is going to hit the net, and Oakland's now within three. And here comes the Grizzlies. 19 to 16. And the student section is very hyped, Joe. They're back in action, oh, as are the yeah. Grizzlies. Dolman back to serve again. 16 serving 19. Up and over, recovered by Youngstown. Here's a set. Here's the attack. Got some hands on it from Ooh. Cesarini and Prisby. Did not roll it, was not able to roll it in. And that is not what you want to see, Joe. To roll it in space for Oakland. And it's going to be 20 to 16, Youngstown State. And ready for Chef Bauer to serve it for Youngstown State. 
Here's a serve barely over the net from Turner to Prisby. And that one's going to be blocked. All the Grizzlies were up right in front of the net. And a simple tap outside towards the back of their territory is going to end up in their 21st point. Absolutely. 21-16, Youngstown State lead. Here's a serve. Covered by Brown. Cesarini with the attack. Recovered by the Penguins. Here's the attack. Looked like that one was out of bounds. But everyone's in agreement. Youngstown State point, 22-16. to 16. And Oakland cannot lose sight of what's important. It's a six-point deficit right now in set four. Youngstown State wins with this set. There's mm -hmm. a serve. Up and over. Way over. 17-22. Now Oakland back with some life. Not yet, Joe. Not yet. It's been here to serve. A couple substitutions from the Grizzlies. 17-22. Here comes Rossman. Up and over. Set. And big miscommunication from Youngstown. They had, they had to receive. They got the set. And that was it. There was no finish. There was no finish. It was, a, it was an, like a mental argument between two players. Who's going to get it? Is it close enough this way or that way? The hesitation. The ball kept going. And that was just false communication. 18-22 now. Golden Grizzlies with a block. Back within three. And here we go. Here we go. You hear the crowd roaring. You hear the, you hear the student section yelling and screaming and hollering. 19 to 22. And we got a timeout by Youngston. As the Grizzlies are feeling very confident. We're going to stay with you here on 88.3 FM WXOU. Got one minute until we're back in action after this timeout. 22 to 19, Youngstown State still leads it, but the momentum seems to be on the side of the Golden Grizzlies. Starting to see some miscommunication from Youngstown State. Youngstown State came into this game with 0-1 in Horizon League. Had a great showing in the first two sets, winning both of them 20 to or 25 to 20. Oakland was able to make a comeback in the third set. Able to win. One second, looking for the score here. Oakland able to win a third set, 25 to 19. And now in set four, it looked like it was all Youngstown State. They were up by, it was 11 to one at one point. Golden Grizzlies were able to make the comeback. And now we're within three towards the end of the set, towards the end of the set. Golden Grizzlies come out of that timeout. High fives all around. Down State trying to get their fire back. They do still lead by three. But it's going to be Rachel Rossman for the Golden Grizzlies serve. Up and over. Recovered by the Penguins. Here's a the set. There's the attack. Off the fingertips of Golden Grizzlies. Stays within their possession. Way over to Cesarini. Blocked by Youngstown State. Still in possession. Cesarini tries it again. Goes for the corner. Popped up by the libero for Youngstown State. Able to get it back to Oakland side. In control. There's the attack from Oakland. Staying in control here. It's a war of attrition. And with a split Ooh. second, the ball tight roping across the net. Lands on Golden Grizzly side for Youngstown State's point. And the Penguins are two points away from taking this match. 19-23. to 23. It's within four. Jasmine Vergara. Back to serve for Youngstown. Serve is up. Serve is over. Received from the Golden Grizzlies. Cesarini going for it. Gets recovered. Youngstown State returning the favor. Off the hands of Rachel Mossman. is going to give Youngstown State the point. You could, almost, you could argue that that one could have been going out of bounds, but it was so fast. Yeah. All Rossman could do was throw her arm up in reaction. Youngstown State, it's, it's match point. It is 24 Joe. to 19. Youngstown State serve. And up and over. Here we go. Received from the Grizzlies. Cesarini goes for it. Gets the kill. Oakland in the 20s. Oh, yes. Twenty to 24 now in set four. 
It's match point for Youngstown State, but the Golden Grizzlies stay alive. Hey, Cesarini set to serve. Serve is up. Serve is over. Received. Youngstown State to set on the far side. Sends the attack way over. Golden Grizzlies back within three. 21 to 24. Cesarini back to serve. Serve is up. Serve is over. Youngstown State's got control of it. There's a light touch and the and hesitation. The Penguins win it. And the hesitation is going to cost oh. the Golden Grizzlies that match and a very tough fought match between the Golden Grizzlies and Youngstown State. Youngstown State's going to take this one on the road 3 to 1. They were so close, Joe. They were so close. It's been a tough one. Set one, it was 25 to 20 for Youngstown State. Same thing for the second set. Golden Grizzlies come back 25 to 19 in set three, and we finish it off. Youngstown State wins the set 25 to 21, and that is game, set, and match here in the arena. Exactly. It's been a wild one here in the arena. Be yeah. sure to stay tuned to WXOU for tomorrow's game. We got men's soccer as well as more volleyball. Be sure to tune into that. Follow WXOU on Instagram at WXOU Radio to stay up to date with all of our broadcasts and otherwise WXOU activities. My name is Giovanni Mosheri alongside Jacob Board here for WXOU Sports. We're going to send it back to Harjan for your post game on 88.3 FM WXOU. Thank you for listening, and we'll see you next time for more Golden Grizzly Sports. Thank you, Joe and Jacob. Welcome to the Golden Grizzlies post-game report on 88.3 FM WXOU. A slow start cost the Oakland Golden Grizzlies volleyball team a hard-fought loss against the visiting Youngstown State Penguins. Oakland went down early in the first two sets, tried to battle back in the third, and just got off to a rocky start in the fourth, battled back, and unfortunately lost it again at the end. WXLU's next broadcast will take place tomorrow when men's soccer takes on Milwaukee. On the broadcast at 1 p.m. is John Kloss on play-by-play. And on color is tonight's play-by-play man, Giovanni Mosheri. In the studio tomorrow is Andrew Deacon. The same crew will be doing the 4 o'clock game. Joey Hayes will get his WXOU debut at play-by-play at 4 o'clock against Robert Morris University. John Kloss will be the studio man for the late afternoon game. Oakland Volleyball. Tough loss tonight. They're going to go on the road to face... Oh, I apologize. They're going to come back home tomorrow to face the Robert Morris Colonials. Then they'll go on a a three-game road trip and come back home on October 6th. Thank you for tuning in to 88.3 FM WXOU. See you next time.